Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are covering the BSVM, one of the most OP guns ever put into the game. But sadly the gun got nerfed quite a lot, so these days nobody basically plays the gun, but I, in my personal opinion, think the gun is super underrated and is still super strong. So what do you get with the gun? First of all, the gun is more of a blend between an SMG and a marksman rifle. In older Battlefield games, the gun was also known as the VSS more of a fully automatic submachine gun but here in this game the gun functions a bit different here you get very high damage you get absolutely no recoil and you get an insane range even when you equip the short barrel so what do you need to do to unlock this gun first of all you need 60 kills with smgs from a distance of 25 meters or less and you need 60 kills with a marksman rifle of a distance of 100 meters or more this might be a bit harder with most marksman rifles but i would advise you to use the svk with high power rounds since the gun is a two shot up to 125 meters if you put in high power rounds so this should make it a bit easier so now that we know how to unlock this gun let's get into some numbers but before that if you enjoy the content so far go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more guides and battlefield content in the future anyways back to the bsvm so before i actually get into the numbers short disclaimer all the stats when it comes to the ttk will be with the short barrel equipped since i personally think the barrel is a must equip and every other attachment only makes the gun worse so even if you play the gun on really long range you should equip the short barrel so that's why all my stats will be with the short barrel in mind let's start with the usual what types of ammo you get you get high power you get high power subsonic and close quarters ammo and close quarters subsonic but since they both function the same i just say close quarters ammo but we will focus only on the high power and high power subsonic first of all same ttk but they also have way better range than the close quarters ammo and in fact high power high power subsonic and the close quarters ammo they all have the same ttk in their minimum damage range so meaning if you hit all your shots high power high power subsonic and clock close quarters ammo will all kill the same none of those ammos kill any faster than the other so first of all basic time to kill high power subsonic and close quarters ammo they are all 245 milliseconds if the enemy doesn't wear armor meaning you get a very competitive ttk i think 245 is rather on the fast side actually and now here's the thing why we will use how high power and high power subsonic. Those 245 milliseconds TTK, that's the three shot by the way of the gun. With normal high power you get this up to 75 meters, meaning that out to 75 meters you can kill enemies in three shots or 245 milliseconds. Absolutely crazy. And with high power subsonic you do the same up to 50 meters. So that's also why we will be using the normal high power and not subsonic as our main ammo in the FS ammo slot. But I will talk more about this when we go into attachments now as for the part that makes the gun even better it's headshot multiplier we get a 2.2 headshot multiplier meaning one headshot reduces our ttk by one bullet meaning that if you get one headshot with the high power ammo and then you land a body shot your ttk goes down to 122 milliseconds what is crazy considering that 122 milliseconds is so much faster than the normal human reaction time meaning you can basically kill somebody before this guy even realized you're shooting at them and what's also crazy is that this is up to 75 meters imagine you see somebody running in like 60 meter this and you just two tap them this is just crazy with the gun now as for the reload speed of the gun sadly this isn't anything crazy you get 2.6 for a tactical and 2.7 seconds for the normal reload if you're empty and here really the only downside with this gun is its ammo since you sadly only get 21 bullets or 20 bullets per high power magazine if you use the extended and that's not a lot so you really have to make sure that your aim is on point with the gun so if you're somebody that likes to spray and pray this gun might not be for you but to get the most out of the gun let's jump into some attachments so attachments let's start with the most important one first shot barrel doesn't matter what other options there are you're gonna put on the shot and suppressor just do it now as for sides same as always personally i like 1.25 zooms so on this gun it's the k tolo since the gun doesn't have a fusion holo but you can choose whatever side you like and then something i don't do with other guns but i do with this gun i have the mall hybrid 1.25 and 3x as my second option since the gun is very effective on 
long range even with the short barrels. Sometimes I want to swap scopes to get some headshots over range. And then I personally like the scope. Of course, you can put any other long range scope in there. As always, scopes are personal preference. For our ammo, we want the extended max and as I said, high power the normal one in the first slot since we want the 75 meters three shot range or two shot range depending on your aim. Afterwards, we go with the same but subsonic. And then lastly, we do close combat. You could also do the close combat subsonic. It doesn't really matter since usually you don't go through a high power, high power subsonic and then you need to switch to close combat. Usually you get or ideally you would get new ammo for those types of scopes before you run empty in both of them. As for grips, I like the BCG light grip as always. If you move a lot, you can also use the LVG grip. This would be even better if you move a lot. But since sometimes I'm standing, I prefer this grip and everything else really isn't worth it. Here on the script, you get more hip fire, but hip fire is not really good on the gun. And you also get recoil control, but the gun has no recoil. So why would you want even more recoil control? And yeah, that's basically it for the attachments. As for our specialists, we make this really short. Even though it's a long range gun, you want to use it more on an aggressive character. So you either want to use it on assault so you can pick up ammo from the enemies you killed since you run out of ammo very quickly or you want to use the gun on a support to throw yourself ammo crates all the time. I wouldn't advise you to use the gun on a recon or engineer since they are usually further back and if you're further back it's harder to come by ammo for this gun since there are no ammo stations like there were in Battlefield 5 and since you run out of ammo really really quickly with the gun just go either support or assault or the rest of the loadout. Uh, yeah just choose what you like. Now for my conclusion should you use the gun? Absolutely. But I also know if you first use the gun, it's very unpleasant to play since you not only are missing the short barrel, but you also only have like 10 bullet high power rounds. And this makes the gun a bit unfun to play since the gun really excels once you unlock the short barrel and the extended high power max. So if you unlock this gun and you have the time and motivation to do it, I would actually say go into a bot game and level up the gun there since in multiplayer will, you will have a really bad time with only 10 rounds per magazine. It's usually usually like two kills at most and then you have to reload and that's not really fun. But once you get the short barrel, you get the extended max. Oh boy, you're gonna have the time of your life. You will shred people so hard, even over range, you can just hold down the trigger and it's a really good kill farm. It's still a bit weaker than the VHX, but if you have really good aim and you play other maps than redacted, the gun is overall really, really good. You can just farm people over range. You can two tap them in the head. Even when they have armor, you still get a really good TTK. If you have really good aim and you double tap people in the head they will literally call you a cheater because they can't fathom of how fast they died but yeah the gun is fun once you get the short barrel and the extended max before this i would rather say the gun is kinda mid and if the gun didn't have a short barrel i would also say the gun is kinda mid but the short barrel really makes the gun really good so yeah that's it for my guide for the bsvm i hope you enjoyed it if you did consider leaving a like and subscribing for future weapon guides and battlefield content as always Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.